What's going on everybody? My name is the Gaming Raptor and welcome back to another For Honor video. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about the Highlander and give you a basic kind of guide on how you can get started with him and what you need to learn about him and his status and a punish and my final thoughts with him, all that crazy cool stuff. Now, I'm not going to bash on Highlander a bit, but he kind of is a pain in the A, that's all I can tell you. <laughs> but honestly, he's still a really good versatile hero in For Honor but he's a real pain in the butt that's pretty much what he is but uh he he can be a good hero sometimes honestly if you know how to play him right um if you know some of the mix-ups with him that's what i'm going to show you guys a little bit of basic mix-ups with them and some openers you can start with him i uh, it's supposed to be a cool kind of cool kind of guy with highlander that's what i'm gonna say but yeah that's what we're gonna get into today hope you guys again enjoy today's video make sure to like the video and also subscribe and also cut the notifications on for more for honor videos here on the channel um and also comment down below um what do you guys think about highlander uh let me know in the comments down below but yeah let's go ahead get straight into highlanders kind of openers mix-ups etc let's get that going okay the first thing about highlander is highlander has a reputation of becoming a crazy light spammer in for honor okay honestly <laughs> because if with for honor they basically i think i think they buffed highlander's lights but before they were a bit slow but they made them super fast like this like they made it fast and you can mix it up with the heavy too and with this highlander's lights are kind of a part of his kit they make him who he is i mean i honestly I'm fine with him having these fast lights. It's all about the timing and parrying and everything. I mean, I know some Highlanders will abuse the lights and everything, but all you gotta do is basically parry them and you can usually just do it on any side with the lights and everything. But yeah, Highlanders lights and, and all, um, if you're trying to spam with them and everything, um, that, that doesn't sound too good, honestly, because people need to learn how to adapt too again but again you can't just rely on lights all the time because people will adapt and once they adapt they'll start pairing lights that's pretty much how it is and with highlander he gets he gets like a very bad rep just for doing this so if you're out there light spinning i know it, it's it's a thing it is a thing for people to do but you can't stop them it's all it's what people do that's pretty much what it is all we gotta do is adapt and try to basically parry that's pretty much it so his lights are easy to parry in my opinion um if you're playing on 30 fps um, i'm so sorry but if you're at 60 fps console you'll have some good days parrying his lights but yeah that's pretty much with highlander's lights though ne next i want to get into highlander's heavies now highlander's heavies are a bit slow um they're a bit slow like this pretty much uh he can go from top to side um they're a bit slow on the first one but on the second heavy they're fast they're a bit fast and you can also uh go for uh what was it what was it no 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 not the do not the side front dodge i was thinking the front forward dodge heavy not yet <laughs> well actually yeah you can do the forward dodge heavy which can go into an unblockable but i would settle with just going for that if you wanted to take it the easy route you can also go to the side with it but you have to be very quick whenever you're going for the side side dodge heavy it can also go to the other side too but you got to be very quick so basically what i do here is i move up a and then i just use my right stick to move and it will transfer into like another heavy now a lot of highlanders do this but not all the time because you can't expect this to happen all the time if you do well if you can't expect the heavy to go through all the time if you do people will parry it it's a common thing with people um they'll know how to bury it it's a thing that people know need to learn how to adapt and everything um so with highlander you gotta want to mix it up because he's very versatile um that's the, that's the thing with him he's a very versatile hero you can mix up with him you just gotta learn how to mix up and uh pretty much bait your enemy like make reads with your enemy with highlander use the lights in there to like use them to the Use them to your advantage, pretty much. And you can also faint them. Make sure to just just try fainting them. Like, just bait with Highlander when it comes to using the heavies and the lights effectively. Next, I want to get into, like, Highlander's unblockable stance. Now, Highlander has an unblockable stance. And um, this is why I like Highlander, because of this unblockable stance. But, however, it is hard to control, honestly. Because you got to do it very quick while he's in his chain. Now, say, like, I was facing this one, so I want to go for, like... 
this, and then I would hold down RT just to get into my stance. Now, the warden can interrupt my stance, basically by lighting me or heavying me. You want to try and practice dodging in the stance, and also in the stance, you can you have a lot of like variety combos you can do. You can also you can do lights. You can throw a kick in there by basically moving up and X, or moving to the side and X. You can just move anywhere with the kick. Um, and you can also throw out unblockable heavies, which do a lot of damage, honestly. Um, really effective with Highlander. But the only thing is, is that people will parry it because people know how to parry unblockables. So I highly recommend, well, I'd be advised with the move pretty much. Be advised while you're using your heavies and everything. Your unblockable heavies, that is. Whenever you're trying to play with Highlander. His unblockable stance can get interrupted again. So you might want to use this move wisely. And you got to be careful on how you basically approach someone who will basically uh, parry you or um, interrupt your stance. So you want to just be careful how you use this move as it, it can, it will end you big time. The next thing I want to show you guys is a move that most Highlanders do. Um, if I go ahead and just leave you in whole position. So um, say like most Highlanders that I play against, some do this, not much. They'll usually start out with this which is basically a running uh heavy pretty much it's a running heavy that it, it's kind of good but again you can parry this um it's slow um you just gotta be you gotta be time you gotta like time it correctly on how to do this that's pretty much it i uh, i would honestly just wait until the highlander comes towards you just wait wait it out just time it, parry it, and you'll be fine. Okay, the last thing I want to touch on is Highlander's zone. Now, Highlander has a very, very slow zone. Uh, the thing about Highlander is that he's a slow kind of character to get used to. I mean, he is a, a big, heavy hybrid, honestly, and he can do powerful attacks, but he has a slow heavies, a fast light, which can be spammable. You just gotta try to parry it. Um, but his zone is like the slowest, in my opinion. It really is. Um, he has three heavies. Well, three heavy zones. The last one is the slowest, too. Or actually, I think it's the fastest. It could be the fastest or slow. I, I think it might be fast, maybe. Um, but uh, Highlander zone, at first, it can be very slow. And you can also feint it on the third one. Well, close to the third one in the second zone, too. So you can also feint this. Most Highlanders do this just to feint and bait your opponent, pretty much. Like, say your opponent's like very low. You want to throw the zone out you throw it out um your opponent blocks it you faint it probably go for like maybe a light or something and bam you basically defeat your opponent right there uh, that's what you can do with highlander and it's really good really important just to use the zone for like last resort kind of deals and everything you don't want to use it too much because people can parry it and catch on so yeah, be advised with using the zone too. And yeah, that's pretty much it with Highlander overall with his moves, uh, moves, mix-ups, and all that. Uh, they're pretty much easy and pretty, pretty efficient, honestly. And also one last tip. There's one last tip that I also forgot. I mean, you're in this unblockable stance. You can also grab your opponent and throw them on the ground and get a free heavy off. Basically, you can just throw them on the ground. It's Highlander's signature kind of move, like animation. You can just throw them on the ground, get a free unblockable heavy. This is pretty common with Highlander, honestly. Um, Highlander, uh, Highlander has like a, a little bit of history of using this move a lot. I mean, yes, again, it's a really good move, but you can also mix it up too and just go for it. So if I were to go for like a kick, I can just mix it up and go for it like this. It's just super easy to use and it can also be, I would say reachable if you're like trying to dodge or something it'll still reach that's pretty much it. that's pretty much it with highlander honestly um he has a really good moveset all that cool stuff now let's go ahead and move on to his out of stamina punishes let's do that okay so a good basic out of stamina punish for highlander would have to be light and heavy top on the side so basically you want to push him on the side go for top and heavy really good out of stamina punish really efficient and really basic Basically, you can go for the side if you want to, but I just like to go for the top just for the extra damage. Big damage, that's what. Big boy damage. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much his out of stamina punish. Next, let's go ahead and move on to my final thoughts with Highlander and what I think about him as a foreign honor hero. Let's do that. Okay, my thoughts with Highlander is he's a good hero in for honor. Um, 
He's very versatile. He is slow, but I would say that he is kind of like a, uh, I would say a pain in the butt kind of hero. <laughs> like he's just a pain, honestly, sometimes when it comes to spamming. But it's a thing in For Honor that us, like us in the community have to deal with. I mean, there's no way we can get out of it. It's a thing we got to deal with. We all got to go through with it. And we just got to try and suck it up and everything and just go through with the game itself. Because um, For Honor is all about adapting and challenging yourself. That's pretty much what the game is pretty much. And Highlander is one of them. Highlander is literally one of them. I mean, there's many other characters that can also spam and everything and start uh, making you want to quit For Honor. But I'm not trying to make you guys quit For Honor. I want you guys to come and still play and just have fun in the community. I just want to like see this community just grow at its prime again like it used to. Because this game was one of the best games in 2016 like it really was 2015 and 2016 it was at its prime i just want to see it grow again and with highlander um i really think that he could have some buffs and some nerfs but i think he's a bit balanced where he is right now i wouldn't say he's like bad where he is i mean yes the lights are concerning but it, it is what it is honestly i mean overall his kit is really good um, everything about him is good and it, where would i put him on a tier list for right now since i would probably say he's like a c plus like a c plus kind of hero like probably in top high c towards mid c like mid high c around there that's where i see him pretty much that's just my opinion you guys might have your own but yeah that's pretty much what i think about highlander really versatile really slow but overall a good hero just an average or honored character <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys again enjoyed today's video and uh, make sure to like the video to help get the video out there and also subscribe if you're new to the channel um, watching this video too and also comment down below what do you guys think about Highlander and what else do you want to like see with him change what do you what else do you guys want to see with him you want to see him uh, have a nerf a buff let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and also guys I want to thank you guys again for 600 subscribers here on the YouTube channel um, that means a lot really uh, we're still growing our YouTube channel as much as we can. We're trying to make it to 1,000 subscribers. And then at 1,000, I want to start basically uh, moving towards something different. Like starting doing Let's Plays, gameplays, all that other stuff. I want us to start growing our channel big time. And I think we're going to be making moves at 1,000 subscribers. We're going to continue doing For Honor. But I also want to do other games on the side as well. So... Um, there are I just hope I get the support from you guys honestly with all the other games that I want to do I mean, there's different loads of games. I really want to play like minecraft. Um, maybe some UFC stream some games as well and also I will be starting to stream here on YouTube soon um, I'm just waiting until it's the right time too because I'm still streaming on twitch for all of you who don't know I do stream on twitch twitch.tv slash the game we have to place link will be in the description but yeah, um, everything will be set for streaming here on YouTube as well. And yeah, again, make sure to share this video with your friends and like the video to get it out there. Subscribe for more For Honor content here on the channel. And as always, I'm Game Raptor. Like, share, and subscribe again. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Oh, bye bye.